is something that's really very special to us. We've been trying to do this for uh, several years now, and basically the experience itself is a personalized experience in horror. That's really the way we, we like to describe it. Um, unlike so many of our other haunted houses or other houses in the industry, even uh, it's all about you know st startling you and scaring you forward and keeping you moving. Um, alone is a little bit different. It's about making the guest who experiences alone. Um, part of the story. They become integrally involved with the characters in there. Um, the other way to describe it is it's a it's a terrifying play that happens in 11 acts. My master's collection, but don't touch anything, don't break anything. These are his most prized possessions. He loved these things more than anything else in the house. <laughs> we wanted to make certain that the people who really wanted to experience it had the opportunity to do so. And the best way to control crowds we found was by making it uh, uh, an additional charge. Now the truth is, if you pre-book it online at myxrocks.com, which I strongly recommend because it's been selling out every night, um, there is a, a discount you're purchasing, uh, you're actually purchasing a uh, an entry time that you can take up to four people so you don't have to do it by yourself. And uh, when you when you actually do the math, it comes out to about six or seven bucks a person, which is virtually nothing if you do a group of four. However, if you're brave enough to go alone, um, then you have the opportunity to uh, take home a limited edition I Did It Alone t-shirt. When you do something that's that personal, it affects different people on very different levels. Um, in some of our test audiences that we sent through very early on, um, the, of the first seven people we sent through, um, four of them came out in tears. Actually, that's not 100% accurate. Three of them came out in tears. One of them came out fine, then burst into tears and fell to the ground. Um, we've, had, we've had people walk out applauding. We've had people come out just sort of numb. Uh, just moments ago, I talked to somebody who went through it last weekend, and he tried to describe it to me, and he just really couldn't put in words his experience. Um, it's 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 affecting people on a very deep level, and I'm assuming that it's going to create some nightmares for some folks. Welcome home. I've also people come out saying that was great, and I would never do it again because they were that they were that affected. Uh, the, the truth is, we added we have added the safe word just in case. Um, the, the safe word being if for some reason you are too scared to go on and you need to get out because I mean let's face it, we respect people's uh, personal reaction. And uh, you use the safe word. The safe word is repeated back by the performer, and then you say it again and you are escorted out. Um, so it doesn't happen by accident. You have to say I need to get out of here. Now we have had people almost chicken out as they're waiting in the in the uh, the on deck circle, as we call it. You know, when they're standing there, I've had I had one woman the other day while I was over there. She just looked at me and she said, "I don't think I can do this." And she was talked into doing it. She was going in with a group, and uh, she was talked into doing it. And when she came out, she said, "I did it <laughs> once." It was a lot of fun. It was really twisted and it's twisted. Sick. Yeah.